account this little video, and it said Islam had a little trouble with drugs. But I don't see people talking about him. And so he was saying when he first came over that his school that he, he trained at in Russia, they just gave him vitamins, you know. They've been doing this since, a, since who knows when, when you start training. Imagine if you gave someone steroids from the age of 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, how strong you would be. The epic clash of UFC 284 produced a fight of the year candidate that might be hard to beat. Pound for pound king Alexander Volkanovsky dared to be great as he faced Islam Makhachev for lightweight glory and a chance to become champ champ. The scorecard may have produced results that favored Islam, but some voices within the MMA community don't share the same view. Islam's history with USADA. Looking back, Islam indeed found himself getting caught up in an anti-doping violation back in 2016. The newly established partnership with USADA went to town to clean up the sport. In the crossfire, the current lightweight champion also got caught up for allegedly making use of meldonium. Islam had this to say in his defense. Later I had problems with USADA, I was worried more about that. Even though it was just meldonium, Russian athletes on national teams were getting it like vitamins. Every national team was given mildronate. I still think it's systemic prejudice against Russian athletes. Dan Hooker accused Islam of cheating. Meanwhile, Alexander's teammate and Islam's former opponent, Dan the Hangman Hooker, had this to say. Dumb c*** thinks he can fly to Australia, hire a nurse to give him an IV, and we won't find out. Cheating dog, prove me wrong. Bet you can't. He doesn't cheat, he doesn't win. Joe Rogan backs Alexander Volkanovsky. Veteran voice of the Octagon, Joe Rogan hosted a fight companion alongside Eddie Bravo, Brandon Schaub, and Brian Callen. Rogan believed Volk truly beat him and had this to say. Volk won that fight. We were just, we were convinced. Were we too biased? Uh, we might have been biased. Were we though? We might have to watch it. I don't know. I mean, I don't. Wait, let's see what the online people think. Because it in, was in my eyes, two. I thought it was 3 2. 3 2. Yeah. Oh my God, this sucks. Volk chimes in on cheating accusations against Islam. The featherweight champion made an appearance on Ariel Helwani's MMA Hour and joked about Mahachev's weight fluctuations on the fight night as compared to the weigh ins. He said, I ended up weighing myself, I think I was like 76 uh, 77. Kilograms, so just uh, maybe 170 or just under 170. Volk predicted that Islam could weigh around 180 pounds or over, and said, "I've, I've heard he gets up to like uh, yeah 180, like 83 kilograms close to. So yeah, like you know, it's you fill up pretty quick, you know, on the IVs and stuff like that." Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no matter which side of the coin you may land on, one thing's for sure: UFC needs to book a rematch at the end of the year.